Hi, this is Prasoon from DrElearning.com. Today, I'm going to show you one of the very powerful features in Dr. E Learning, the editing feature. Now, the best part of this editing feature is that you don't really require the source code of your e-learning. You don't require any authoring tool source code to make the changes. Uh, it can allow you to edit your published SCOM file from whatever tool it may be have built. Uh, it could be a very legacy tool or whatever be it. It allows you to make changes to your media, to your media uh, very easily, and uh, it makes it possible for you to make very quick edits. Now, before we move forward, let me give you the real example of client cases uh, wherein such needs uh, become very important. And at times you will have to have a quick way of modifying your content. See, in the ideal case, you may have access to your source code. You may have a vendor who can quickly turn around things for you if there's a need for an edit, if there's a need for any modification. But then there have been situations where uh, our customer had uh, this legacy learning and they had a certain board of member image that had to be changed because that person was no more part of the company. And from the compliance point of view, um, that change was needed to be done very quickly. The problem was that they did not have access to uh, the source code even that company, the vendor who created the, the, that e-learning was no more in the business. So you have very tricky situations and you have to make that change. And for such situation, Dr. E-learning edit mode uh, comes to rescue. Other situation could be that you may have access to your vendor or your team, but then they may have a certain turnaround time and cost attached with them. So you may not be able to wait for them or maybe in certain situation, you may not be okay with the commercials. So this allows you to very quickly modify and make small changes, uh, you know, without being in the ransom of any vendor or a situation. So with that kind of a background, let me start and give you a quick demo of the tool. So you need to go to drlearning.com and I'm assuming that uh, you have your own account there. So I will log in with my account. And um, I'll go and make a project. So let's so for an example, I'm taking a COVID-19 related e-learning material and I will modify that and I'll show how things can be edited. So this is my SCOM file. I take this file, I upload it into the system and then I'll wait for a while. Uh, it may take a little while to process this file. The algorithm of Dr. E-learning is analyzing all the file and creating a database for the same. Um, so it should not take too much of time, but I will still pause the video and I'll resume back the time uh, it is ready. All right, so the processing is done and now I see three options over here. I will press the first one, uh, the first option which takes me to the project. I may want to preview the file once just to see it. So this is a sample course, which is made for COVID-19. So imagine I start this course, I have this left menu and say an objection has come from a certain, from a, from a certain compliance perspective that in the prevention section here of this content, uh, you can see uh, there are certain images that require change. Now imagine, imagine this particular product that we are seeing here, maybe uh, the situation demands that you cannot show the product name. Accidentally, the media person has added this, but somehow there is some problem the business is facing because of this name being mentioned. Uh, so how do we go about changing it very quickly and getting back our SCOM? Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll try and demonstrate that to you. Okay, I'm closing this e-learning and I'm, look over here, there's a, edit file mode. This is what exactly you want to go to. So if you go to edit file, it allows you with a lot of filters so that it's easy for you to, you know, search for the file that you're looking at. So in this case, I'm looking for an image. So I'll, you know, uh, look for an image in case uh, I know the relative size, if this image is big or small, these are other filters available. But for this time we are skipping that. Let's just go and put a search. And if you see, it lists down all the images that are there. 
and uh, you can click on an image and it opens it in a new tab and you can just see if that's the image you are looking for. Now, uh, the image that we were looking for, uh, since I know which image it is, uh, but one can go and click and figure out, this is the image that I'm looking at. And you see there is this, um, this is the image that uh, has this brand name. So what I'll do, I'll press this download button here and I'll copy this file and I will save it in my local system. Then I'll open up my photo editor. And I will use the, the tool to erase, let's just say this brand name, probably let's say this was, was the ask. You just don't show the brand name of that thing. So that is done. I'll immediately go and uh, save this thing. Okay, good. So this file has been edited by my media team or by my, I have done it myself. Um, and now I'll go back to the tool. And if you browse a little below, there is a, there's a, there's a browse option over here. So if you click it, uh, you get a, you can actually choose a replacement image. So I'll of course replace it with this image with the brand name gone. And then I can submit it. All right, and that's it. Now, once you do that, you can go ahead and preview again and see for yourself that the changes have been done and they are looking good. If not, you can always go back and replace again. So this was the prevention section and here you could go. And now you can see that this particular image, uh, the brand name has been wiped out and uh, this is now, if you're happy with it, you will press download. This will start a download operation for you. A download job will be queued. It will take a little bit of time, not too much. And it will generate a modified SCOM file for you, which you can just go and put into your LMS. And uh, that will be an edited version of the file. I will pause the video for a while, just so that uh, once the download is done, I'll resume from there. Okay, so uh, the this is the downloaded zip, which if I press it, I'll I can actually take this out, and this is. This is the modified version, it's ready to be serviced. Um, and this is how so quickly you can edit uh, a published SCOM uh, without the need of, uh, you know, the authoring tool uh, in, in those special situations where you may not have, uh, you know, any convenient access to the sale. Uh, so I hope uh, some of you will find this feature incredibly useful in certain emergency uh, situations and we encourage you to use it. It was pleasure making this video for you. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.